So many of my viewers probably already know this, but if you don't, I don't do computer stuff for a living. I don't do programming or anything like that. I'm actually a firefighter. And firefighters don't have a regular nine to five, seven or five day a week schedule like a lot of people. And there are different schedules out there for different departments, but my department is probably one of the more common schedules where we work 24 on, 48 off. That means that I work for 24 hours and then I'm off for 48. For example, if I work Monday, I go in Monday at 8 a.m. and I get off work at Tuesday at 8 a.m. and then I don't have to go to work until Thursday at 8 a.m. and it cycles through like that. And there's good things and bad things to this schedule. Um, one of the great things is if I don't change shifts, which I've been on the job for 17 years now and I haven't changed a shift, I can predict every day I'm going to work the rest of my career because you just count every third day. On a calendar, it's very simple. You look, whatever days I work this week, I work the days before that next week. So if I work Monday and Thursday this week, next week I work Sunday and Wednesday, and then, and, and then Saturday. And then the week after that, I'd be working Tuesday and Friday. So that's my schedule. The question is, the hard part is, when you're off work, working a weird schedule like this, you don't have a weekend to look forward to, so it's sometimes hard to remember what day it is. And when I'm not at work, I have to stop and think, do I have to go to work tomorrow? And I have to remember, was I at work this morning at 8 a.m.? If I remember waking up in my own bed at home, I have to go to work tomorrow. But if I woke up at work, I don't have to go to work tomorrow. But let's look at how we can predict out and write a short little shell script that tells us what shift we're currently on. And again, there's three shifts, A, B, and C. So let's have a look at it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get a starting date for each shift. As you can see, I have A, B, and C here, and I set it to a date that I know was an A shift, and I know was a B shift, and I know was a C shift. As you can see by the year here, I wrote this script many years ago. But we need to take those dates, and we need to get it in Epoch, or Unix timestamp. So basically, the number of seconds from January 1st, 1970, to midnight at the beginning of these days. So that's what this plus S does. It gives us the, the seconds. And also, as you can see, I put in a date for each one of these. We got the first, second, and third, but what I could have done is gotten the first date and then for the second and third date, add one and two days to it. Just different options there. So once we have a date in seconds for each shift, I have to get today's date. And then we do a little bit of math and we can time, figure out the time elapsed between the two. Now, right here, we're getting a variable, we're creating a variable of today, and that's going to be today's date. Then we're going to take A, B, and C and do a little bit of math and replace them. So, here we're taking today's date from there, and we're going to subtract A shift, B shift, and C shift. So, we're getting today's date in seconds on each one of these lines. Then we're subtracting these dates in seconds. Now, if this is getting a little confusing for you, don't worry. This script is in the link in the description of this video. It should be very simple to follow along. In fact, you might want to look at this while I'm explaining it as well. But it's very basic math when you actually understand it. So once we take today's date and subtract the previous date from it in seconds, we should get a number. And because today's date is a forward date, a future date from this date, we should never get a negative number. Then we're going to take that and we're going to divide it by 24 times 36, uh, 3600. 3600 uh, at times 24, that's going to give us the number of seconds in a day. You could also just type in the number of seconds in a day, um, but off the top of my head, I didn't know what it was. So we're doing 24 hours, this number of seconds in an hour. So we're going to take that, and once we divide this by that, we're going to divide it by 3. But this percent symbol here means divide it by three and give us the remainder. And we're going to do all that for A, B, and C shift. So again, this might sound complicated, but it's very basic. Again, we're getting the difference in seconds between the two dates. Then we're dividing it by the number of seconds in a day. And then we're dividing that by three because we have three shifts. And out of the three shifts, only one of them should ha be evenly divisible by three. And if it is, then we should get a remainder of zero because it's evenly divisible by three. Now we just check for A, B, and C. Does A equal zero? Does B equal zero? Does C equal zero? Again, only one of them should equal zero. The double ampersand means the last statement was true. So it checks. Is A zero? If so, then echo today is A shift. If B equals zero, zero then it's going to say today is B shift. And if C equals zero, then it will echo today is C shift. 
Again, with me explaining it, it might sound complicated, but when you look at it, it's basic math. And it's only 10 lines of code, and we're done. And it probably could be shortened up a little bit in certain ways. But I think it's very readable this way. Again, check out the link in the description. Let's go ahead and test this code out. So my script is called shift. It's made executable. I dot slash it, and when I run it, I work tomorrow, which is A shift, so today should be C shift. And there you go. And this code, again, is very simple and could easily be ported to any language or just have this script run on a server that you can pull from and then you can display what shift it is in whatever interface you're looking to do it in. And if you're a firefighter working a uh, 24 on 48 off, all you have to do is adjust the shift to match up your shifts because your A shift might be different than my shift. But that's it. I hope you like this. I hope you enjoy the script. Check out the link in the description of the video for the script up on Pastebin and let me know what you think below. Is there anything you would do different? I'd love to see it. Have a great day.